welcome to today's concept interference interference means modification of intensity due to the superposition of the waves first of all we have to know some basics about our first unit that is interference and diffraction regarding that i would like to recall some fundamentals related to the wave nature and the characteristics or properties also first of all wave the disturbance created in the media is called as wave disturbance created in the medium is called as wave for example if you take a bucket of water initially the bucket of water is at the rest the bucket of water is in the rest this is the water initially it is totally in the rest suppose if you drop a pebble or stone what we can observe yes exactly we can observe ripples like that that means from the equilibrium position whatever is the resting position on the upper surface it is called equilibrium position from that equilibrium position the water molecules are executing in the up and down motion why these ripples are occurs we have created some disturbance in this water medium so same like that in any medium if we create some disturbance due to the disturbance there are some vibrations of the particles occurs the disturbance in the medium is called as wave the main characteristic of the wave here is particle doesn't move from one end to the another end only energy can transfer from one end to another end that means the particles are executing or vibrating from their mean position or equilibrium position okay for example this is the equilibrium position of the medium this is we can take an as a axis this is x axis that means this is the surface this is the y axis now we are observing the waves like this okay that means if it is called as horizon from the mean position the some of the particles are vibrating in the upward direction and some of the particles are vibrating in the downward direction these are called as crest and this is called as trough now i would like to tell the definitions of crest and trough crest means the section of the wave that rises above the undisturbed position It is called crest the trough means the section which lies below the undisturbed position undisturbed position is nothing but trough a wave consists of alternate crests and troughs this is crest this is trough this is crest this is trough like that there are so many crests and troughs are exist now we have to be discuss about the amplitude and wavelength here the particle is displacing at the first maximum distance is it or not maximum the maximum displacement is called as amplitude the maximum displacement is called as amplitude it can be denoted with the letter e also the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position is called as displacement 
once again this is the equilibrium position from the equilibrium positions the vibrations are coming like that that's where the ripples or waves are forming the maximum displacement is called as amplitude this is the amplitude this is the amplitude this is crest this is a trough this is crest this is trough this is the crest this is also a crest the distance between the successive two crests is called as wave length the distance between the two successive crests is called as wavelength the wavelength we can be denoted with letter lambda wavelength unit angstroms angstrom wavelength we may taken as distance between the two successive crests or distance between the two successive troughs and we may taken as the length from the one complete cycle that means from here to here these points is also called as nodes and also these points is called as anti node so from here to here from here to here also it can be taken as a wavelength lambda that means from here to here it is lambda then here to here it is also lambda that's why this position is equals to two lambda position do you understand what i am saying one complete cycle is wavelength lambda and this is also one complete crest and trough okay so this is lambda lambda plus lambda that means r from the origin this position is two lambda and if we consider this one as a lamb zero if it is a lambda this position is called as lambda by two position this position is called as lambda by two position few more definitions we should know to understand the interference and also the principle of superposition those are those are path difference and phase difference path difference path that means distance difference path difference are phase and phase difference we will discuss now path difference means the difference between the length of two paths the difference between the length of two paths for example this is the equilibrium position this is the origin from the origin our wave is traveling like this it has amplitude a and wavelength lambda first two wave started at the or point origin if it's a second wave itself started from the same position so automatically those two are traveling like this now is there any path difference exists no both waves are started at the same point origin that's way the path difference is zero path difference is zero for example this is the zeroth position this is the lambda position this is the two lambda position so on now our first wave started at the position origin and second wave started at the position lambda and traveling like this now tell me is both the waves are started at the same position no 
द फर्स्ट वेव इज एक्स्ट्रा ट्रेवल्ड हाउ मच एक्स्ट्रा ट्रेवल्ड लैम डा डिस्टेंस एक्स्ट्रा ट्रेवल्ड देर फोर द पाथ डिफरेंस हियर इज द पाथ डिफरेंस हियर इज लैमडा फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द ऑरिजन दिस इज द लैमडा इट इज लैमडा बाई टू दिस पोजिशन इज लैमडा बाई टू फर्स्ट वेव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द ऑरिजन हियर ट्रेवलिंग लाइक दिस अनदर वेव स्टार्टेड एट द पोजिशन लैमडा बाई टू एंड ट्रेवलिंग लाइक दिस देन हियर द पाथ डिफरेंस इज लैमडा बाई टू आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द पाथ डिफरेंस पाथ डिफरेंस एंड we have to be discuss about the phase difference phase suppose if you see here both the waves the first wave is traveling like this second wave is also traveling like this first wave is in the, if in the upward direction or clockwise direction the second wave is also in the same direction both are overlapping that means both the crests are overlapping and both the troughs are overlapping okay then there is no path the phase difference between those two waves why because those two are in same plane but if you take here if but if you take here the first wave itself tra traveling in the opposite direction or negative y direction or anti clockwise direction the second wave itself starting are traveling in the clockwise direction or upward direction that means these two are in out of phase this change is called can be called as the difference is called as phase difference that means here the phase difference is half circle half circle means 180 degrees it may denoted with pi but if you see here the phase difference here is zero phase difference is zero if the phase difference is pi or 180 degrees the waves are traveling in the opposite direction if the phase difference is zero 2 pi 2 pi means 360 degrees 4 pi like that the first wave of the crest is coincided with the second wave of the crest and first wave of the trough is coincided with the second wave of the trough these are the important points you should remember to understand the principle of superposition okay in our next class we will discuss the principle of superposition thank you this is guna please do subscribe my channel thank you